No thanks. Before Bean met Ivy, she didn't like her. Bean's mother was always saying that Bean should try playing with the new girl across the street. But Bean didn't want to. She's seven years old, just like you, said her mother. And she seems like such a nice girl. You could be friends. I already have friends, said Bean. And that was true. Bean did have a lot of friends. But really, she didn't want to play with Ivy because her mother was right. Ivy did seem like such a nice girl. Even from across the street, she looked nice. But nice, Bean knew, is another word for boring. Ivy sat nicely on her front steps. Bean zipped around her yard and yelled. Ivy had long, curly red hair pushed back with a sparkly headband. Bean's hair was black, and it only came to her chin because it got tangled if it was any longer. When Bean put on a headband, it fell off. Ivy wore a dress every day. Bean wore a dress when her mother made her. Ivy was always reading a big book. Bean never read big books. Reading made her jumpy. Bean was sure that Ivy never stomped in puddles. She was sure that Ivy never smashed rocks to find gold. She was sure that Ivy had never once in her whole life climbed a tree and fallen out. Bean got bored just looking at her. So when her mother said she should play with Ivy, Bean just shook her head. No thanks, she said. You could give it a try. You might like her, said Bean's mom. All aboard! Next train for boring is leaving now, yelled Bean. Her mother frowned. That's not very nice, Bean. I was nice. I said no thanks, said Bean. I just don't want to, okay? Okay, okay, her mother sighed. Have it your way. So for weeks and weeks, Bean didn't play with Ivy. But one day something happened that changed her mind. <laughs>